be a millennium to me means being the leader of tomorrow. I feel like now in these days, we need leaders who are gonna stand up for our communities and help develop the new generation and leading them into being what we could have been. I feel like, especially being a first generation millennial here in the United States, I feel like I have, it's my duty and my job to be an example for these individuals and being pioneers of whatever industry you're going into and being able to take advantage of the opportunities because at Millennials, we have all the opportunities available to us. And it's a lot um, better than it was when my parents were growing up or somebody else who was older was growing up. I am a real estate agent. I've been a real estate agent for two years. Um, I got involved in real estate because I always watched family members and friends who were really successful in real estate. A big thing that pushed me was seeing people like Frederick Eklund, who was an immigrant from Scotland, come to the United States and build a big business in New York City. So watching that, I related to that. I'm like, I can do that same thing. So since being involved in becoming a real estate agent, I've helped many families buy houses, educate them, guide them through the stresses, and help them find this American dream that everyone's looking for. So I feel like a major part of my business comes from referrals because I, if I do a good job for my clients, they always refer me to their families. And I make my clients my families. Um, going forward, I think that I definitely want to grow in real estate. Um, right now I'm looking into investing in rentals. I obviously want to go behind the scenes of going to become a real estate agent to investing and helping individuals get to that point as well and building that kind of business. My job impacts the community because I work a lot with Latinos, a lot of first-time home buyers who never own a house or have any family who own houses. So I take my job very seriously because I want to be somebody for them. Um, I want to be like someone who was treating my mom. When my mom was buying her house, the agent that she had wasn't working for her. So I always took that into my own business and said I don't want my clients to feel the way my mom did. Because I remember being a kid and seeing my mom struggle and my dad struggle with finding a house and I take that personally and I help these individuals feel like they have somebody on their side because it's very hard in this business to have an agent who actually cares about you instead of looking at you as a dollar sign. The key to success for me, I think it's a lot, is being genuine, being authentic, um, caring about somebody, going above and beyond for the person. I think that um, you have to put yourself in their shoes and anybody else's shoes and to be successful, you just can't think about yourself. There's room for everybody on the top. There's room for everyone to be successful. So if we can help each other together, we can unite and create a bigger thing. My best advice for millennials is taking charge of your life. Don't let opportunities go by. If you see an opportunity, the worst thing is that you try and fail. By you not trying, you already failed. So my best advice is whatever doors open up for you, Take a, take a chance and just sit down and look, and look at it. I'm like, you're in charge of your life and don't get comfortable. The problem that so many people have is that they get comfortable and they don't go and chase their dreams. Our lifetime is very short and you wanna make sure you take whatever moments you have in life and live it to the fullest and go after everything you want.